So nanopore sequencing has become quite famous nowadays. Uh, ONT, Oxford Nanopore Technologies, make these sequences. For example, the Promethean, they output data in form of a raw current signal, which is pretty big, one to two terabyte per sample. Um, but that is necessary to do base calling, methylation calling, and many other cool analysis. Uh, back then, ONT used to store this data in a file format called FAST5. Uh, we identified a lot of problems with FAST5 back then. Uh, it was uh, not very uh, high speed, and there were a lot of breaking uh, changes done to the API, making the development very hard. Uh, we tried to uh, communicate these problems to ONT publicly and privately. Uh, for example, we showed in like 2019 that how horrible this fast five bottleneck is, um, and then even showed that a simple ASCII text file format could do much better than the fast five format. And as a joke, uh, you know, ironically, we just called it slow five, thinking ONT will do something about it. Uh, I mean, time passed, uh, there weren't any improvements, and I included this chapter as the last chapter in my PhD thesis, uh, and Heng Lee was one of the uh, persons in the defense committee, and he asked, what about a binary format? And that uh, encouraged us to develop this into a serious file format, amongst other reasons. And after like an year, we uh, uh, developed the core of Slow5 and uh, put the preprint out there. And then eventually, uh, like we got like huge performance gains and benefits, and finally it got published uh, in Nature Biotech. Um, and since then, it has gone into a huge ecosystem comprising all these parts. I'll go quickly one by one. So, of course, a serious format should have a serious specification. So here it is. Uh, and then library, the heart of slow five format is the C library. Um, like inspired from softwares like Minimap, very limited dependencies here. You don't have to get crushed by all these huge snakes like Python, Mamba, Conda, just call make, done. And of course, if you know how to pet the snake, PySlow5 is there. And for our people, uh, there's our slow 5 uh, thanks ChatGPT. And some community uh, like develop tools too. And uh, coming to tools, slow five tools is the major uh, like tool for manipulating data, uh, like very bash friendly as any bioinformatics tool should be. And we have buttery uh, for base calling and methylation calling, and then uh, squigulator for simulating nanopore signals, and F5C for signal alignment, and slow five curl for remote file access, and many, 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 many more, both from us and other community members. And also you have data sets, uh, like thanks to AWS, quite a few we have uploaded and also some like links to ENA, ISRA uploaded slow five data sets. And if you want to get started with development, a lot of uh, resources are available. And then now back to the timeline, few months after we published slow five, ah, here ONT says we are coming up with their own file format which uh, turned out to be something called pod5, which is the default file format in ONT sequences. Uh, well, there have been many breaking changes in pod5, so like it's hard to benchmark, but just uh, like one week before I did a benchmark and it's based on that. So the file sizes are very similar. Uh, Performance-wise, reading performance for sequential access, uh, if you have, uh, if you are a very rich lab with like access to terabytes of SSD, well, similar performance. But if you rely on traditional hard drives, especially on NASA's and uh, HPC file systems, uh, slow five seems to be still better. And then when come to random access performance, uh, like slow five seems to be still a lot better. Uh, and then about the complexity, slow five, only like two dependencies, one is Zlib, the other one is optional, is it standard. And here is pod5 with arrow boost and all the things after spending one hour, I just gave up drawing the tree. And then don't worry, we have blue crap for converting back and forth and to do real time conversion as well. Anyway, slow five future, like currently we are using as the central format at Garvin Institute sequencing facility. We are like now sequencing like a thousand Promethean genomes like Promethean samples per year, opposed to like 100 few years ago. Uh, so 
like uh, it's all a mighty license. No time for actual agreement. You can read it. And if you missed anything, slides are here. Thank you.